Hello, Chris here, and uh, once again, I'm still your video guide, and uh, in this uh, video part here, what I'd like to do is um, I've opened up our sample program that we have available, and um, this is just sort of uh, just a conglomeration of all of the different uh, blocks, and uh, let me take some time to kind of walk through those. Now, what, what we'll kind of begin to do is we'll kind of walk through... Um, how these blocks works and uh, what you would do. So already you've gotten a taste of the send sign, the send uh, send a sign message, if you will, and uh, it's it's the larger block, and we've already begun to kind of play with that a little bit. And uh, in this case, we haven't done anything with variables yet up until this point in our in our video series. But um, what we what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of walkthrough on our our template program. So the very first thing we have is that we've got our main routine here, and what I've done is I've broken it up into two um, ladders here, one for sign address 0 and one for sign address uh, 2. So this is uh, rung 0, 1, uh, sign 0, 1, and these are all of the information that has to do with the top sign. Okay, And then uh, we have rung 0, 2, which is sign 2, and basically this is um, the rungs that are associated with the second sign. And so, um, uh, just for ease, let's talk about sign number two since we're already here. So, in the sample ladder logic, what we've got um, is uh, just an explanation of the sample program. We have basically two sign message blocks: one uh, one up here and one down here. And one is called uh, sign O two L U, which is short for line up or line running. And then the other one is sign O two for L D line down. And so just to show concept, I created two blocks that use the same uh, or have different controller tags. Uh, one's line up and one's line down. And so line up has the message line is running. And in this case, it's formatted with uh, different colors. Um, and it's, a, it's a basically a green color. And, uh, you know, the other one, LD, is uh, says line down and it's basically formatted in larger font in a red color so we're able to have two separate parameter sets uh, but the same sign message block in this case and then I just wrote a simple toggle timer up here so every 10 seconds uh, this little toggle bit toggles and it basically then enables this block which writes um, line is down or line is running uh, for 10 seconds and then it toggles back and then it writes the message line is um, down so in this case we see that uh, being transmitted to this sign now so that's a concept of using two blocks uh, with two separate messages and again because they're so um, uh, so variable or we've got variable based blocks here there's just many different ways that we could do this there's no right or wrong way so that's sort of what sign two is doing. Its its job is to uh, transmit two different messages in two different colors and two different font sizes to our sign. Now the other uh, one is um, more of a um, sort of like a plant-wide scoreboard is what we've decided to do with this because this is probably the the popular thing to do. Now we went ahead. I went ahead and utilized all of the blocks. Okay, the very first block is called the reset sign block. And what that does is if you enable this block, it basically erases the sign of everything that memory-wise that it has. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll toggle this block, and now that's going to erase the sign and also erases the variables that were set up in there. Okay. So now we haven't talked about variables up until this point, but what we're going to do now is we're going to set the sign up to accept variables. And step one in doing that with variables is to use the setup sign variables block. Now in this case, all we have to do is we have to just create a block and map it to the same uh, parameter set. So in this case, if you noticed, uh, we have sign 01. So if we look at our controller tag, we have this sign 01 parameter set. So we have one parameter set. And it is mapped to this uh, to this uh, block here, this reset sign. So it got its information of there's the address I want to use, and then here's three packets of information that we're going to send back. And then this is the the mapping is the same. Notice this block is the same. It has the sign 01 address, the file label, and then the variable names uh, that we want. So in this case, we're going to transmit 
uh, the U the U V W X uh, variable names uh, to whichever sign at is addressed in that tag. So all this is doing is we also want to make sure that we enable those uh, messages there. And this is going to write those variables inside the sign and allocate memory for the sign. Now if we transmit that, uh, nothing really happens. We don't see anything happen on the sign. As you can see, it's still blank in this case. Okay, But we did go ahead and set up the variables that we need uh, to transmit our sign. Now, the, now, in this case, um, this block here is probably a once-in-a-lifetime use here. Like, if you if you need to erase the sign, you're only going to use that, like, on a power-up or, or when you first commission the sign. And then this is a once-in-a-lifetime block as well. But we part of how the sign works is that we need to allocate a, a name, a variable name, and the size of the of how much memory we want to allocate in the sign. So this only happen, needs to happen once, but your variables will not work until you allocate the variable name and the variable size in the sign memory. So once we have done this one time, we're pretty much done with this rung. Uh, we really don't need the ladder logic unless we replace the sign or lightning strikes it or something of that nature, something freaky. Um, and then now we're ready to move on to our block that we're already familiar with, the send uh, four lines, uh, send four mine blocks, if you will. So in this case, we're going, we've already got this kind of uh, structured and set up um, for uh, variables. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the variable updating down here, just so that this is a little bit more maybe dramatic. So, and, and I'll kind of explain all this logic down here. But currently, what we're doing is we're going to send, send a uh, total reject cycle time and OE score to sign 01. And uh, we have it set for a small font, uh, red color. We're going to do left left hand, uh, a, looks like left hand alignment. And uh, we have uh, bolding turned on and then um, a slide up effect, I guess, we've got turned on here. We really don't need that. Let me we'll change that to uh, hold in this case. Um, well, we probably won't need the uh, effects anyway. Um, our variable names, which are, are what we've already transmitted, U, V, w, uh, w, and X, and we can change those um, to, to different single letters if we want. Um, our variable values are actually being updated in ladder logic below, so these are being generated in uh, real time here. And then a variable color, red, and then um, whether we want bolding off, and then this was the last packet that was sent, and there's no information uh, further. So uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, turn this sign on. Now in this case we want to go ahead and enable variable embedding in this case. We want to turn on variable 1, 2, 3, and 4 in conjunction with our message message on that. And we're going to turn text formatting on but turn off uh, special effects. We'll go ahead and turn on our uh, variable formatting which is going to give us this the font and the color in a different uh, in a size and color. So we'll send that to the sign and uh, we should see some text up there. And we have some uh, re residual, I guess, information from our variables because we, we actually had this uh, block down here that was sending it. Now notice that it's kind of formatted real nice because I've already tinkered with this a little bit. So what I've done is um, I did left alignment with my text. And then if you notice, I went into my, uh, uh, my block over here and I sort of kind of used uh, spaces uh, to space it out. So I've got some extra space characters in here to space it out real nice um, on, on, the, on the sign there. So you can play around with spacing uh, to do that, basically.